We're bad friends. When you go to a restaurant and they go, um, hey, we're big fans of yours. It's on us. Oh, God. You have to tip you do, so you much. You have to tip so much money. That's why. I, you know, I go. I, you I, have to tip so much money when they do that. <laughs> I know. What I say is this. I go, no, I'm paying for it. The reason why is because, especially if it's a restaurant that I'm going to come back to. Oh, right. I don't want them to think that, oh, here he comes again for a free meal. <laughs> There he comes. He's been here for twice a week, you know what I mean, to get the free meal. This so guy, I tell them that. I go, don't pay for me because I want to come back. Yeah. I'll still give you a big tip. Don't worry about it. Right. Right. But I don't want to feel pressure of not coming back. I want to come back. Right. They're like, sir, this is your eighth time this week at this PF Chang's. <laughs> you have to go somewhere else. I just, I yeah. was on, I was took my, I took my wife's parents out for dinner at a really nice steakhouse. Yeah. And they brought us wine. And after the guy, he comes up to me kind of like over my shoulder. They can't really hear. So I thought. And he goes, hey, man, I, I just, I'm a massive fan. And this is like such a big deal. If I don't want to bug you now, but after the dinner, could I get a photo? And I go, yeah, totally. No doubt. On the way out, just, uh -huh. you know, wait till we're done, like done eating. And then of course, no big deal. And then he comes up and the manager comes up and he's like, great to meet you in front of my wife and her parents. And it's like, we took care of the bill. And I was like, fuck, fuck. I know. Because now I'm like, you have to give, you you have to tip, in my opinion, dub you have to tip double double the bill. <laughs> right, right. Double the bill. So right, whatever the right. bill was, two times that has to go to the server's pocket. <laughs> right, yeah. Which is fine. It's just, it's a forced hand. Yeah. I would have tipped him well anyway. But now you're tipping 200% of what the bill was. Right. And then we take the photo, and it's one of these moments where we're not getting the photo. Doing, oh, could we, something's wrong with the thing. And it's lasting a long time. Yeah. And now people are looking at me. And for everything in the world, I wish I could have just given all the money for the thing and ran out as fast as I could. Just give him the money <laughs> and, and yeah. been like, I can't take the photo. I'm sorry. I got to go. Yeah. Something's wrong at the thing. <laughs> yeah. It was just uncomfortable. It was just weird. I don't like, I don't like those moments. Here's what I don't like too. At a restaurant where the waiter will go, so the chef's a really big fan, oh, right? Oh, fuck. You're and fucked. so he made something special for you, mm -hmm. right? So you already ordered your meal. Yeah. You don't. And then. The waiter comes with a boar. Yeah. <laughs> on fire. Yeah. On fire. And I got to eat the whole fucking thing now. Yeah. The chef's just sitting there like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to finish you it. You have to finish it. It's, oh, it's that, the worst. That I don't like. I don't like it either. Here's what I do like. What? When people just uh, do a subtle thing knowing that I know that they know, I think that's the coolest thing. When they go like, like I've had a, I had, I've had a guy go like this in a restaurant. He just goes like this. Like oh, that. I love it's like Fight Club. Yes, it's like Fight, Fight Club. Club. Yeah. yeah, you know, I know. Okay, we and were we, at, we don't say anything. We, when we went to Hawaii well, with my mom before the pandy. Yeah, we did the road to Hana, and then we wanted to go to Mama's Fish House. But if you ever been to Mama's Fish House, yes, it's a two month reservation. Yeah, you you can only get in if you know someone that can get you in. Right. So we drove. I tell you this story already. No. Okay. So I we drive up and I go to the hostess and I go, um, hey, um, four. You have reservations? I go, no. And she goes, sorry, it's a two-month reservation. <laughs> like that. And she looks me right in the eyes. <laughs> and I kind of blush, but I go, all right, guys, let's get back in the car. But then the valets, they go, what, you can't get in? I go, no, hold on. I had a valet run down to the hostess. That's and awesome. I could see that from afar, him yelling at her, right? <laughs> it was the best, right? Yeah. And then she calling the owner of whatever. Yeah. And then she goes, she had to go, all right, you get prime tea table right right this way. Oh, how awesome. So we go to the table, and this is the best. Yeah. And I love, that's why I love podcasting. Yeah. Waiters and waitresses would walk by me and whisper, nosotros papaya. <laughs> or hail the slep king. That's so You know funny. what I mean? And it feels, I, I love and I love those fans. I mean, I love Mad TV fans, and if they like me in a movie or whatever. Yeah. But our podcast friends, podcast our people fans. that we hang would hang out with. It's great. It's great. Yeah. No, I love it. It really is. I do love it. I I I love it when all you have to do is be cool and don't make it fun. Don't make it weird. Don't yeah. say a weird thing. And I that's just, why that's why when I Ramy and those guys I play at um your Warzone, buds? War, <laughs> my buds right yeah. Warzone with is when I'm talking to them because I know. During the messages, they go, "We're I'm a bad friends Tiger Belly fan." That's cool. And then when you become when you're playing with them, it's almost as if there's a trust factor because they know all my fucking insecurities. Well, because they're a part of us. Yeah, they're a part of. The it's thing. really nice. I fucking love it. Oh, speaking of which, what Bob and I? It's not a fact, but we might we might be trying to do 
copying a, a good friend of mine. Uh, Mark. No, we are going to do it. Okay, we're going to do these drive-in movie. We're going to try to do a drive-in movie theater. That we bad, might do. Live, we, we might do it in Bakersfield. Yeah, we're working it out. So um, Andrew and I, bad friends, and uh, Rudy will be there too. Has to. She has to be there on stage with us. But we're going to do a drive-in. <laughs> drive-in movie theater. And then, and are you going to go? Well, why can't I just? I'd just rather just listen to it. But we're gonna we're gonna go to car to car. Yeah, we're gonna be around. We're gonna be walking we'll stick around. A, we'll stick a sticker or something on yeah. your windshield. Yeah. We're gonna do and something. We'll wave. You know what I mean? Just don't get out of your cars or roll up the window. It'll be very. I yeah. promise you, we're gonna It'll make. Be good. It, we'll, we're gonna make it a whole thing. Yeah. Wait, let me tell you this one story. Uh, tell me stories. I love stories. No, no, no. This this just reminded me though of that kind of thing. I can I can't do that. I can't walk up to a restaurant and hey da 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 da. Although Nobu Malibu, I it worked and it felt really good. <laughs> But it never really happens to me. Yeah. But I was in Chicago with Rogan doing yeah. a show, and um, we go to this place called Bavette's and Buff, one of my favorite steakhouses in Chicago, right? This is very Rogan-esque. Rogan loves MMA, doesn't like sport, doesn't know sports. He thinks like sports are ridiculous. I'm like, you like a sport. How do you not like other sports, right? Um, a very famous Chicago Blackhawk hockey player walks up to us as we're walking in and is like, Joe Rogan. And Joe's like, hey, what's up, man? He's like, holy shit, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of Corey Crawford. Hey, man, you're a huge fan, da-da-da. And he goes, oh, cool, man. And then he walks, and he's like, what are you doing in town? And he's like, I'm doing a show. And he's like annoyed almost with him. Yeah. And he walks away, and I say to Joe, I go, do you know who that is? Is anyone who is like, one of those? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And he's like, I don't know, man. And we walk up to the thing. Joe, Joe is on the phone, and he's out by the car. I go inside, and I go... Hey, we're looking to get a table. There's uh, four of us, and she's like, uh, "We're totally booked." Like, it's what do you like? She's looking at me like I'm a moron. Yeah, and I go, oh, "I know it's late, a late night thing." And but, um, is there any way? It's, um, uh, I'm with Joe Rogan. Like Joe is here. If we're in town doing the UFC, and I was like, yeah, you know? yeah. And she goes, "No, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't. There's nothing, nothing like that. I, I, I don't know what you. She thinks I'm full of shit." So Joe comes walking in, and the girl at the front is like. Uh, Joe goes over there. He's like, "What's the deal? Are we can we? Is there any way we can sneak somewhere in here at all?" Yeah, he's being so polite, so nice, and she's yeah. like, I, "I don't have any dude." Before she can finish her sentence, you see a guy. I mean, it's like out of a movie. He's like talking to guests in like a nice suit, and then he turns and he sees Joe, and he's like, Phew! and he just beelines and he goes, "Joe Rogan, what's what can we do? How, how can we help you? Where do you need to be tonight?" And, <laughs> Really? Yeah, and he's like, uh, "We just want a table." He's like, "Right this way." And the girl was like, "I don't know who that. I don't know who that is." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, yeah. sit us. She, 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 get, she should get fired. Uh, she got fired. Shh. She got fired. She got fired. No, no, I have uh, no fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, but she should get fired. But yeah, we yeah. sat down at the the most prime booth in the thing. Oh, it's the best. And because it's him, because I'm with him. Yeah, it's an endless pouring of meat. It's just like. They like are shoving oh, yeah. five hours of just me just eating meat, drinking, blacking out. Mm -hmm. It was like the most fun. It's the opposite of what happened to me when Irvine, remember I told you? Huh. When I went to the restaurants, I, did, I no. told you that. No. Yes, I did. When? On this podcast, I never told you? What did you do in Irvine? When I. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't tell you? No. So I, <laughs> this is, I can't. I, you know what? I, I don't want to tell you. It's an embarrassing after hearing that story, actually. Because I did the polar opposite. You know what I mean? Why? Tell me. All right. We might have to cut it out, though. Did you tell it on belly or something? I don't remember. I don't know if I said... Did you hear the story before? Huh. Uh, so this just happened. So this happened what? in um, February or February. Yeah. So, you know, I you know I sold out the Irvine Improv. Yeah. Which is uh, difficult to do. Very. Right? Very. It's 500... Say, I feel the first time I ever sold out before going there. You know, it felt good. Yeah. So I went there early. I go, you know what? I'm going to show up. Right, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have a nice dinner before my show. Yeah. So I show up at the club, and um, I go to the manager, and they go, "Why are you here so early?" I go, "You know, I want to be mindful to get here early, so you're not worrying that the headliner's not here." Right. So I came early, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat some dinner next door at Paul Martini's or something like that. Sure. So I walk in there, and I go, "Hey, um, I'm can I one?" <laughs> and she goes, "No." She goes, no, we we're three hour wait. Like I was just and I go, yeah, but um, I'm by myself. I'm yeah. Also, I'm headlining literally next door, and I have to go, I have to perform. No, we don't give a fuck. No, <laughs> and she, I go. Can I see the manager? Yeah. yeah. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy comes. Yeah, I'm headlining. No. <laughs> nope. I go, but I'm headlining. Yeah, we don't we don't do that. We don't do that. They didn't let you eat. No. So then what? I go. I go. Uh, hold on. 
I go next door to the Irvine Improv and I go, yeah, they said no. <laughs> right? <laughs> and they go, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I go, I know, but I go, yeah, but t- go over there with me. No. 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 And they go, but you know what we do have? There's a Mexican restaurant right next to next door to that. Yep. We have connect. I'll call. We'll call. We have connect. It's really good. You'll love it. So, okay, great. I'll have Mexican. So they call. I go over there. Hey, excuse me. Um, no. I go, but yeah, but they called. We know. We know they called. Irvine Improv. You getting shut down? And I go, but I go, but I know, but they called, so you talked to them. Yeah, they just, we just got off the phone with them, you idiot. We just said, no, <laughs> no to you. And I go, yeah, but I'm headline. We don't give a fuck. No. So I went back. And I went to the manager of the Irvine, and this is this is what this is the part that's gonna be embarrassing. Yeah, I go. I'm going home. Shut up. I swear to God, I said that, <laughs> like an idiot, yeah. like a fucking baby. You're like, I, they don't want to give me food. <laughs> I don't like a fuck. They go, we have food here. I, I don't want to eat your diarrhea, fucking ridden, infested fucking food here. How do you know it's diarrhea ridden? I don't know. I just don't like club food. Did I get food poisoning from the old Irvine Improv? I did. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I did. You hear stories. Yeah. So uh, I went to my car. <laughs> you pretended like you were going to fucking leave? You're such an asshole. <laughs> and they're like, Pop, where are you, Pop? No, please. no, no. They're like, what are we, you know what I mean? And I, I think I called like um, some guy from AA. You know what I mean? To help you get through it. Yeah, I go, you were annoyed. I go, because I, you know, I had just got on, a, you know, you know, you know. You were just pissed off. I was just newly sober, you know. That was when I, you just got sober. I, I was like a, a month and a half in, you know yeah. what I mean? So I was just like really tender. Yeah. And I was just like, he's just like, what are you doing? Yeah. You got to work, dude. See? It's not a big deal. Grow up. And I go, all right. I know, but I'm just saying when you, you said would, the Joe Rogan thing, I know. right? It's the polar opposite it of was it. Just, it was just- And I, I'm being honest with you. I, I, you know, when I, I, when, when I behave in that way. Yeah. But they, somebody should have sat me, by the way, but- Well, you're a single. It should have been easy to it take one been easy. person. And also, I, I, can I just defend my position real quick? Sure. Is that the Irvine Improv, how many- I mean, you're talking about 2,500 people yeah, it's a lot. during the weekend that you're bringing in, right? Yeah, it's a lot of business. So you're bringing in business to those restaurants, am I not right? The majority of that business is probably those people. Don't you think? Yeah. Right? Just give me a table. <laughs> it's what, that's, that was my thinking, right? Yeah. You're right. I should have done it differently. And I was acting, my ego got in the way. Yeah. And I, apo- I don't want to apologize that to those being restaurants. Said, Fuck those Give me a fucking table. Give fuck me, those fuck restaurants. restaurants. Yeah, give yeah, me a yeah, table. Yeah. Okay. It is true. Yeah. It is true. Fuck those restaurants. Give me a table. You can help me the fuck out. No, I, I can't pull any strings. Joe was the only reason that I, every time I've ever tried, he, yeah. they they don't even acknowledge it. Okay, I can one more story. Yeah. One more story. So this was a surprising to me. Jordan Peele and I, he goes, let's go have lunch somewhere. So we went to this restaurant on Los Feliz Boulevard, right? Little Doms. It was, it was dinner. It was dinner, like 6 p.m. Little Doms. No, it wasn't Little Doms. It was like for, it was called the Lodge or some or something okay, like that. Okay. Or the Living Room, some bullshit fucking thing like that. And we walk into the lobby and she, we go, "Hey, can we sit too?" The like, Nassari reservations only. And Jordan just goes, um, "All right." Walks out and I go, "Academy Award nothing." <laughs> <laughs> You want an Academy Award nothing? It's so funny if he just brought his uh, Oscar and he's I'm like, "I'm just saying that hey. you can't get in." No good. But don't you think that's fair? That's fair. I think it's fair. 